it's time for the reading nest. Come on. Welcome to the reading nest. Where books inspire you to be your best. Come on and pull up a seat now. We've got adventures to explore. Grab a book and dive right in. Okay, find your listening ears. Shh. Well, hey everyone, I'm Patrick, and I guess I'm late for the reading nest. I just got back home, so let me get changed. And if you're ready to hear some great stories, then join me at the nest. See you soon. Hey everyone, and welcome to The Reading Nest, a Hawkins Learning original only on YouTube. I know, things look quite different here at The Nest. I wanted to expand The Nest so I can have more room to share more great stories with you. Now, let's jump into our first story, but I have a question to ask. Are you a hard worker? Are you kind? Do you like to laugh? Well, those are a few things my friend Penny asked in our next book. It is titled, The World Needs More Purple People, written by Kristen Bell and Benjamin Hart and illustrated by Daniel Wiseman. Now, Penny wants to know, are you a purple person? Let's find out. Hey kid, I've got a secret. It's gonna knock your socks off and I can't wait to share it with you. Ta-da! Follow my guide to become a purple person. How to be a purple person by Penny. Now, you may be asking yourself, why in the world would I want to be purple? Purple is a magic color made when red and blue work together. I think all the best things in the world are purple. But you're probably wondering, what does that have to do with people? Wow, are you a genius? Because you're already on your way to becoming a purple person. You want to know why? Step one. Ask really great questions. My dad says purple people ask questions. Questions about everything. Even questions about questions. Hey dad, how far away is outer space? Have you ever met a dolphin? How many dolphins live in outer space? Purple questions are the kind that help you learn something really big about the world or something really small about another person. How tall is the world's tallest rainbow? What's your bear's name? Charlie. Dad says the more purple questions you ask, the more purple you become. How many do you think there are? He also says, I can only ask him 20 questions about space dolphins per day. Step two, laugh a lot. My grandma says purple people laugh a lot. We are always laughing together. I mean like snot out of our nose laughing. We laugh at books. We laugh at jokes. How do you make a tissue dance? Put a little boogie in it. We laugh at donkey dances and hairy elephant knees. <laughs> and we especially laugh at Grandpa's funny noises. Purple laughing help us remember the things we share 
and forget what we thought made us different. And it's almost impossible to be angry when you are laughing. Try it. I dare you. Grandma says the more purple laughing you do, the more purple you become. She also says Grandpa's noises are her favorite funny noises in the whole wide world. Step three, use your voice and don't lose your voice. My mom says purple people use their voice and don't lose their voice. She encourages me to use my voice to sing. My dad is the one with the hairy chest who loves me more than all the rest. To give good ideas, let's wear monster costumes to school and to share my opinions. I personally feel like we shouldn't have to eat Brussels sprouts because they smell like sweaty socks. Sometimes people lose their voice and that's okay, it happens. A purple voice helps someone who is having trouble finding their own voice. Purple people don't just speak up, they also listen. Maybe you could tell them you don't like it when they call you that name. Want me to help you tell them? Mom says the more you use a purple voice, the more purple you become. Mom, can you help me with my play? She also says she heard my opinion on Brussels sprouts, but I still have to eat them. I'm going to work on a better argument. Step four, work hard, super duper hard. My grandpa says purple people know how to dig in and get stuff done. He and I like to work hard while we build things and while we learn things and while we grow things. Purple work is the kind of work that's done together to change something that needs changing. What do we want? More playgrounds. When do we want them? Now. Fix something that needs fixing or help someone who needs helping. Grandpa says the more purple work you do, the more purple you become. He also says no purple work has ever been done while sitting on your backside sipping strawberry lemonade. Okay, are you ready for the last step? Are you ready? Are you sure? Are you sure you're sure? Are you really, really ready? Okay, drum roll please. Step five, paint yourself purple. Just kidding. <laughs> That's not the way to become a purple person. Actually, being a purple person has nothing to do with what you look like. My teacher says purple people look all sorts of ways. They are big and small, old and young, some wear cool coats and some wear shorts with lots of pockets and some wear funny hats. She says some purple people feel blue sometimes and red other times. And some purple people even have green hair. Step five, just be the real you. Like my teacher always says, Purple people come in every color you can dream up and every size you can think up. The only way to be purple is to just be you because you're the only you we've got. So those are my surefire steps to turning into a purple per- Hey, wait a minute. Well, I'll be a llama's mama. You've been beautifully purple this whole time. I sure am glad you're a purple person because the world needs more purple people just like you.
the end. Hi, I'm Patrick. This is The Reading Nest, a Hawkins Learning Original only on YouTube. If you enjoyed our story today, the world needs more purple people, then click the like and subscribe button below so you can be notified when there's more stories to come. Until next time from the nest. Bye. Okay, find your listening ears. Hi, I'm Patrick. This is The Reading Nest, a Hawkins Learning Original only on YouTube. If you enjoyed our story today, the world needs more purple people, then click the like and subscribe button below so you can be notified when there's more stories to come. Until next time from The Nest. Bye!